Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, I've never started a video off by telling a joke. <laughs> I'm going to tell a joke. Um, the first presidential debate <laughs> is tonight. <laughs> the first <laughs> presidential debate. That's the joke. That's it. That's the punchline. That's it. Are you kidding me? Is there anybody that actually still believes... Uh, I, 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 there's no vote. There's no... They know exactly who's going in. Uh, my my opinion would be uh, Trump again. Uh, they'll use um, all of the shenanigans with the mail-in votes and Hillary and people already coming out saying even if Biden isn't <laughs> the president, can uh, immediately reject the decision. So then you'll have like a constitutional crisis, or at least you'll just have a bunch of shenanigans around the election. I think Trump is the he if if this system wants people literally at each other's throats trump in terms of how he creates an anger or a reaction in people by the way this is a gold's gym shirt anybody still you know stop figuring it out it's backwards that's what my mac default is and um we can get by that um uh you know trump creates more division and they love it you know they just absolutely, absolutely love it. More polarization, even than Hillary did or could have. That's just, and that's saying something. That's just, that's hard to imagine. So um, why wouldn't they bring Trump back in to further destroy, divide the country? If you bring Biden in, of course the right is going to not like it. and But they're not going to take to the streets or, you don't, you don't, Joe is too uh, harmless to hate. Um, and the meme about him <laughs> being the the kid from the beginning of Deliverance, oh my gosh. Um, that is, if it, they have Joe in a certain picture with his eyes, slanty eyes shut, and the kid from Deliverance, the, you know, the kid that was a little off in, in the Appalachian, off the Appalachian Trail there where Burt Reynolds that was going to go hiking or rafting. He just repeats it. Anyway, if you haven't seen Deliverance, boy, what a what a movie. Although the I broke my leg as a kid, so it's hard for me to watch the, the broken leg part with Burt Reynolds. Um, but it's a great movie. But it's Joe it's Joe Biden. That's the kid. That was that's the kid that was he was the inbred kid that that was playing uh, the banjo. That's I think that's Joe Biden. But he doesn't invoke just rage. I mean, Pam, you know my my Matrix friend. Is coming around to some things, and she doesn't really care about. She doesn't get emotionally invested like these hardcore liberals. Liberalism, Michael Savage, the, the smartest thing he ever said: uh, liberalism is a mental disorder. It's that simple. You don't have to. There's no reason to figure it out. There's no reason to go any farther. And no, I don't. I don't look to uh, right-wing conservative talk show hosts as if for any source of knowledge. They're all controlled animal farms. Uh, some of the right-wing talk show hosts, many of the right-wing talk show hosts, in my opinion, they don't even know their role. They actually believe in politics. Uh, I think only at the highest level do they know their role. Rush Limbaugh knows his role. Knows doesn't doesn't have any understanding, in my opinion, of, of the of how reality works. That we're actually, I don't want to say getting close to, because that sounds that's arrogant, or we have a long way to go. But he wouldn't understand half the things we understand. He understands that politics is his realm, and it's just they're just going to manage it, uh, manage people the way they want to. And, and in the ba in the end of the day, you know, a guy like Rush Limbaugh is going to see that Nancy Pelosi is working with Harry Reid, and they're, they're all working together in the back room to to present a, a, a WWE or a WWF or a show of some kind. And he'll they'll have justified it to let Rush Limbaugh that this is necessary Rush to hold a country together and we're going to share some things with you and he'll he'll have justified it in his own mind and um, Glenn Beck um, knows the same thing I'm sure Hannity absolutely uh, knows the same things but it, it's very compartmentalized in my opinion um, inside um, I'm going to have to check guys to see if this microphone's working I've got to pause and come back so, yeah it was working it was working I guess you know that because you just heard the first section. Um, just to wrap up what I was talking about, I, I think a, a lot of the, there's, what, 100, 
conservative talk show hosts, most of them believe in the political system and believe the vote is completely real. It's that compartmentalized, and there's no reason to talk about that any further because that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is understanding what the world, what the word new normal really means. And at first we thought, oh, it just means we're all, they're always going to have this uh, germ threat, pathogen threat, virus threat hanging over us. Um, even after the action jacksonation, a percentage of the world will still never take off their mask. They'll never be comfy outside without Linus's blanket. You know, they'll just need it in any sort of a crowd. We thought that was the, the meaning of the new normal. And uh, can you, how many times can you say new normal before a video is striked or banned? Um, should we have a hobo code <laughs> for that? Do you need a hobo code in the freest country on earth? It's the freest country. To, and you can't even say new normal because then the, the bot's waking up. Why does he keep saying new normal? Oh, that, <laughs> scrutinize that video. That's about, what's, why is, what's action jacksonation? The bot's awfully confused. Anyway, we might need a hobo code for that. But what it means that's what we thought it meant. It's just, oh, there are always people, this mask will never go away. And, and then right when everybody gets the action jacksonation, oh, there'll be a threat of another pathogen. Um, they'll, they'll do that. They'll play that as much as they can. They'll play this. They'll play this gig out as long as they can. And if you want to model, well, how long did they play? Um, the the T-ism is -ism out. Do we have a hobo code for that? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, the we called him maybe we just called him Muhammad Atta moment. Uh, the Tismism. How long did they play that out? Well, don't no, not twenty years from no. They played that out. They played that gig like Basher. <laughs> Basher. I'm gonna do it. I love my favorite. You don't play the. You don't do the old gig. You do the new gig. The old gig is Tismism. You don't do that gig again. It's not twenty years. It goes back far before that beautiful blue sun, incredible you know tuesday morning the best weather of the year with a hurricane hanging off the coast that nobody knew about um the weather was just as incredible in san francisco where i was across most of the country yeah there's a reason for that it's all there's a reason for it but i don't want to get too conspiratorial I just lost people like this guy was making sense and then i better I just let's get me get back to it so um you know that that's that's not a 20 year gig they played that out going back the 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 USS Cole and the the Sudan embassy bombings and then you go back all that you can go back um 10 15 20 years before that to the hijacked flights to whatever happened or didn't happen in Munich um the the story or the movie that presents itself as Munich um is ridiculous in my opinion absolutely ridiculous we'll talk about Munich some other time what they presented how the Israelis supposedly um, put their little ragtag team together like they had guys didn't even know how to make you know it was a joke the the, 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 the the movie Munich but there was more real teismism back then because you still had um, the you know people living under slave conditions in 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 the West Bank and and the Gaza Strip and wanting in, in in out of desperation to blow things up so so there was so you know but 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 if you're living in slave conditions and your only recourse is it really teism isn't but that we're gonna just again I'm straying now way too many too many sidebars need to get back to what the video is about so that they played that up for thirty years and they got every bit out of it constant. Uh, Middle East peace talks and Yasser would show up with, I mean, give me a break. Um, but they, they, they said, oh, we need something new. This is the, this is the next gig. You don't do the old gig, you do the new gig, Basher says. So this is the new gig, and they'll play it as long as they can play it. But again, once everybody gets the axe and jackson you know, we'll, you're not, not going to go to a crowded place and everybody's going to be in a mask after everybody's been jacksonated. That wouldn't make any sense. But it might make sense because the whole point of this video is the new normal is not that. The new normal, in my opinion, is what a human being has been devolved into. Or human being, not 
probably 10.0, the 10th reiteration of a hu human being. If you go back and look at what a human being is or was in writing, um, you could go back to the Iliad uh, and the Odyssey, and um, I've referenced that a few times as I've read that again recently, and uh, King Priam comes into Achilles' uh, tent and he begs for Hector's body back, you know, getting the body in the right condition, putting the, the coins on the eyes, uh, to 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 pay Karin the boatman is all was important, and again mostly Trojan War is mostly a fairy tale, but but um, you know there there's uh, there's truth in it of course, but but the way the way even the dumb brute that's what Perseus says in the movie with Brad Pitt he says uh you know he presents himself as very intelligent um, Achilles you know says you know to Perseus probably to to get her into bed will, willingly, but she is a slave girl that he just got from the battlefield. He is Achilles, so does he really need to, to do all that? But he says, you know, we we will never be here again. The, the gods envy us. We are mortal. They envy us. That's the beauty of being mortal. And that is a major truth job. That's the beauty of being in this mortal experience right now and really not knowing you're immortal. That's the Go watch. Uh, it's a great movie. It's very fun. Not a ton of truth, but but a fun movie. Tro Tro Troy, yeah, Troy, with Brad Pitt, and he he says to Perseus, says we will never be here again. The gods envy us. Every moment is precious. Um, the Vanessa a VA channel closed a video with the, to me Seals and Croft, but now it's Seals and Crofts. That's a pretty big one for me, but um, we will never pass this way again and she says you know Brad Pitt says she says I could have forgiven a dumb brute I thought you were a dumb brute I could have forgiven a dumb brute so even the point of this is even Achilles supposed to be this, this just this killer he has all this philosophical insight and this is what a human being probably was if you read the whether fairy tale or not if you read the writings of George Washington, or the or the old writings, or Madison writes Jefferson. Just you way that the way they wrote, and not just those presented as the founding fathers or the from the Bacon Society. Almost anybody that had any degree of education wrote at a level two or three times higher than what people do today. It's it is a idiocracy is real. It's a constant dumbing down. So I'm, when I reference Achilles, I'm saying that was human being 1.0. It doesn't mean the idiocracy at our window now is human being 2.0. They've probably devolved the human being a lot of many different ways uh, across a long, long period of time or a millennium. And now, in my opinion, it's being done in the ultimate way by putting a human being into a certain uh, frequency, uh, frequency, resonance, a mindset where they're literally taking a download of some kind. So new normal is what a human being is or has become. Um, not not um, that you're never going to be able to go to a 7-Eleven without 7-Eleven was an inside job. 7-Eleven was a part-time job without somebody in a, with a mask. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's part of a more greater general new normal about what a human being has become. And um, I'm going to show a clip, and I'm not going to show very much of it. And at first, you're going to think I'm showing it for all the reasons all the truth channels have showed clips like this, so we can basically just complain about the situation. It's a it's a friend of the channel. I'm not gonna I'm not going to show much of the clip. And I'm not going to provide a lot of details. But what it'll seem to be is somebody or it'll seem to be all like all the clips you've seen over the last three or four months look at this person in authority has no common sense you know we're going the, the rules say we can go into an outdoor bot botanical gardens but they won't let me into an outdoor botanical gardens where it says you don't have to wear a mask they won't let me in driving my own car without a mask so then it's it, you think okay matt's going to present the same old complaint video but i'm going to do it you know in the, i'm going to do something completely different Say something that almost no one in the truth community says. It's time, it's time for some tough love, everybody. You know, with the new normal being human being now devolved into 
the tenth reiteration of the matrix, the tenth evolution of what a human being has been devolved down to into true idiocracy. It's our fault. Stop expecting human being 10.0 to deliver common sense. Stop it because you're destroying your own lives. In this clip, of course, um, you won't let me into the botanical garden. Big debate. Big, de- big. Well, do you do we not see that human beings have devolved down to this level? So what are you going to argue? What are you going to get out of an argument? You're just ruining your own day. You can't. They're not the same as you as and me. These people. Those on the download. They're not. Think of them as as I've said this videos back. It wasn't appropriate but as a, a pet. Something as a look at it's a Papa Smurf or anything. It's not the same as you and me. It's uh, Andy's not here, but Andy's devolved down into something into the new normal of a human being. What are you fighting with them for? It's not what well, Matt. You've got to draw the line somewhere. No, it, no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, I'll show you a few clips. But the point is not that oh, let's just celebrate another pushback. No, we need to understand this is this is the new normal of a human being. Stop ruining your own day your own lives okay this is tough love but we need to come around to this it's time i mean we're going to come around to this eventually why not why not just get over with now and and you know enjoy your day out at the botanical gardens instead of having a big confrontation over what if you see if you under truly understood that's not that whatever that person is behind the glass is not what you are it is not what you are and they're not only that they're on some sort of download some sort of mind control what are you arguing with? What do you expect out of them? See what I'm saying? So I don't mean they, you know, the the person that put this this together is a good friend of the channel, but we need this uh, we need a tough love lesson, and I'm here to to deliver it. Sorry. For the clip coming up, guys, per this image, please understand. Right below the woman, it says a face covering is recommended. They don't even require it inside the gardens per their own rules. So just understand, this is right below the woman he's arguing with. You have a plate of glass and a mask on. You're not going to let us in when the, there is no rule to wear a mask in here. And this girl is going nuts over me not having a mask in my car, just showing her the ticket to get in. A face covering is recommended. Stay six feet from others, including garden staff. I found. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no mask. We don't. You don't have to wear a mask while you're in here. I found a mask. Is, is this fine for me to talk to her now? To, to just to show her the, the stupid ticket? Our supervisor's coming over. Your supervisor's coming over? Yes, sir. Be, all because I was showing her the ticket, and she, through a plate of glass, she still needed me to wear a mask? Yes, sir. While she has a plate of glass and she's got a mask on? Yes. You don't think that's a little ridiculous? No, it's not. No, it's not. Governor requires it, sir. Okay. Um, the friend of the channel is allowing me to use these clips on behalf of everybody. But everybody, listen. Stop it. Okay, stop it. Um, yes, so okay, so that's the 10,000th, I'm sure, complaint video on all of YouTube, all of Facebook about people acting irrationally. This is the new normal, folks. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? This is the new normal. Okay, let's just start with the basics here. Of course, we agree 100% with, with uh, I don't know if I should say the name, the person in the, in the car, the friend of the channel. Of course, it's absurd to go over it one last time. It's an outdoor garden. He already has his ticket. All he has to do is say, well, I paid. He's just going by. It, it, he, it, the glass in the car. She's behind a glass in a house, in a little hut with a mask. It's, the, she's more protected than the bubble boy was in Seinfeld. But she's required. You can't go in without a mask. Although he can just drive up, ten seconds park, and take off his ma- without a mask, take it off, and walk around the gardens. Of course, it makes no sense. But what do you want to do for the rest of your life? Do you want to make another complaint video and push back and cause a big stink and big seam? Or understand, this is what a human being is now. The new normal. What do you think that phrase? Why do you think? What do you think that was all about? This is the new normal. Why do you think I made those idiot, those videos with Andy devolving down with the reality itself just for for fun? This is what this is the what a human being is. First off, why do you expect it? Do you expect it to be the same as you? 
you see that's where the complaints come from and and, and it's, I agree we want everybody to come around we want that person behind the glass to be the same as us of course we desperately want that it's a tragic situation it's it's very very difficult mentally what we're going through we want to think that person is the same as us a, a person a, a real person uh, a person of uh, of as a spiritual connection but they're they're not the same as you maybe they once were it's been cut off it's devolved it's not whatever's behind that glass is not what you are why do you expect it to be like you why do you expect it to to show a degree of common sense like you it will take the download of the reality whatever the reality calls for so if you get into a big stink with it who's who's going to win are you going to win no you're going to ruin your own day at the botanical garden or threatening to get thrown out of the convenience store this see this applies to what i've said weeks ago about people writing me well matt i refuse to wear wear the mask well okay that's that's wonderful but people saying i refuse to wear the mask to the point of confrontation every time and as i said weeks ago okay this is the new normal this is a new human being i've never said it this way but this is the next evolution of that same message when you go in and I'm not wearing the mask and people start looking at you and employees go, should we look to remove him or whatever? The entire store of patrons, unless you're in a very rare part of the country, is not going, oh, thank God somebody had the, the, the balls to stand up and come in here. That means I can, I can feel more comfortable about removing my mask and that person showed me the way and I'm going to follow. Yes, there's been some incidents of that. But through 95% of the country, they hate you for coming in. Like my father with those kids that came in in Florida. That person's, look at that asshole, putting me at risk. They're on the download. They're not going to applaud you in most cases. And if your situation's different, you're in the middle of uh, Western Tennessee somewhere, well, that's wonderful. But most of Americans around big cities throughout all of California, that's just a tiny little place, throughout all the blue states, they hate you for not wearing the mask. It is the invasion of the body snatchers. It's, oh, I can't even do it. I'll cough. It's, it's not, you're not, you're not doing every, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be a trendsetter. Everybody will love me for it. No, they'll hate you for it. This is the new normal. This is human being, not 2.0, 10.0. Do you understand this? Is there? Let me, let's just back up and do the absolute basics. And there's nobody that's gonna that's gonna disagree with this. Do you? Is there that that automaton zombie, whatever, whoever that woman was behind the glass, and her automaton cyborg security guard at the end quoting? He says, "Don't you think that's a little excessive? You know, um, behind glass, she's wearing a mask. I'm behind glass because I'm in the car. She's wearing a mask, and and I all I need to do is drive through. Don't you think that's a little excessive?" And he says, "No, sir." Um, so what the governor requires Let, let's just let's let's agree here start at the very basic level do you think you'll ever be able to, to bring them around do you think the woman behind the glass security guard will say well, you know what you know sir you're making some good points and uh you're right uh, you know what I'm, I'm going to interpret what it says below her literally face coverings recommended and you know what you convince me uh, you convince me go ahead in move along have a nice day is that ever going to happen? Of course not. Once somebody is identified as an Agent Smith or whatever, or a, a certain element of what this place is, someone on the download, we know they'll never come around. It will just be escalated. Sir, we've called our, our supervisor. It's no different than the, the waitress who was 25, 26 years old who moved to have a confrontation with me when I entered the outdoor dining area. Roped off 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet. God forbid I did the 30 feet, 30 feet back to back. Somebody like, I knew he was Illuminati. Yeah, 30 feet, 40 feet, 50, whatever it was. Oh, that he just made some sort of some sort of symbolic square or something. Oh, you know, it's my pet peeve. Um, five steps under the ropes. Not even through, just like, a, I, I didn't go under the ropes, like a section where you could just walk right in. You know, barrels to protect the patrons so the cars don't run people down. It's amazing they're not running with those fake stories. Um, five five steps in, she comes to, I'm not, I'm, you know, 20-some feet from the restaurant. I have no intention of, of even going inside. She moves to have a big confrontation with me. 
sir, when you walk through the out the dining area, you must wear a mask. I said, oh, I'm just taking a few steps. I'm sitting right here, right, right on the. So it's not. And you should, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'll keep it less than a minute, okay? Um, she says, uh, and I haven't quite sat down yet. And she says, well, and I'm having a confrontation with her because, but I'm I'm not ready to have a confrontation. I'm, and and I'm not. I'm completely shocked at what's happening. So if I would have just sat down, I said, well, now I'm seated. I'm okay, right? And I'm I'm pulling. I'm saying, well, I'm about to pull my chair out. And I'm thinking, well, when I'm seated, you're not going to require me to wear the mask. So why don't you just allow me to pull the chair? Just another ten seconds, sir. You cannot. You then you might go inside and use a restroom. You have to have the mask on you. Do you have it on you? No, I don't. But I'm about to pull the chair. I'm just going to be. I'm going to have a cheesesteak. Just ten minutes, and I'm out of here. Any, of course, anybody with a degree of common sense would have been like, sir, look. You know, I can get in trouble through the state. Just next time. I know it's only a few steps, sir. I know it's just, but just for us. If she would have been human, just for us, just, just, even though it's a few steps, just do it. Follow the rules. We don't want any problems with the, with the state or who's, we don't know who's watching and, you know, the business isn't doing well as it is. And I would have been like, you know what? It makes sense. I don't want to cause a problem. You know, you guys are probably having some tough times. So I, I, if she would have presented like that, sure, just a few steps. I'll take my mask off. But, is there when somebody identifies themselves as completely body snatched is there any way i was going to be able to convince her and she would have been after this confrontation she was nasty she was there was there was uh there was a uh, and just a nastiness to her look at me she would have said well you know what sir you're right it's only a few steps in and you know no problem i've lost the art she's not going to come around and i didn't have a big confrontation with her I was I, I was totally blown away. This was um, this is now four or five weeks ago before I was tr- truly understood what the new normal is, a de evolution of a human being, and Andy dropping a, le- a level down. Now I'm not going to have a confrontation with her or anybody else anymore. What would be the point of it? This is no different than everybody got on me six, seven, eight weeks ago about how oh Matt you you're supposed to be a leader in this community and you wear a mask. The point's obvious, okay? You can continue. You're not going to move. It's it's more futile, especially if you're in blue states or in certain parts of the U.S., than to, hiking out into the Pacific Ocean with a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood and attempting to hold back the tide. It's a pointless. All you're going to do is ruin your own day with these confrontations. And let's let's put one more thing out there. In the end of the day, the reality itself, or whatever stands behind this screen, that, you know, would we agree, one of the main things it does is try to rip apart human, real human beings and their relationships, family relationships. Do we think it tries to foster that, or do we think it tries it with all its might to rip apart human relationships? Well, we all it does all day long is try to rip apart human relationships. Every single camp, it's a, it's a divide and comp conquer so would we think do we think the reality itself whatever presents the screen whatever presents the minions on behalf of whatever stands behind the screen would we think that the the reality would want us having confrontations or would we think the reality would not want confrontation well of course everybody here knows it wants confrontation for no other reason that it the energy the anger that flows through both sides um, it feeds off that literally. So why are you doing exactly what it what it? You're ruining your own day, and you're giving it exactly what it wants, and you have no chance of convincing the person you're arguing with. So we're we going to keep doing this, or we're we going to understand this human being 10.0 is what the new normal really means. And uh, you know, um, these 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 um, I'm draw- it's a line in the sand. No, no, it's futile at this point. And we're here in this world and this reality to do for ourselves and to learn lessons anyway. Not to gather up our fleet of, our fleet of pickup trucks, get together, and go change, charge off after something and fight it and change the world. That's exactly what it wants. It wants confrontation. It wants relationships ripped apart. It wants people screaming and yelling at each other. <laughs> so let's, let's learn our lesson. Enough said.